Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going to head over to New York City, the five families, and talk about uh, three OGs uh, that have passed away recently or this year in 2023, two uh, button men and one high-level associate. So we'll start with the uh, most high-ranking button guy was uh, Anthony Rotolo, a.k.a. Tony the Guinea. Uh, was a New Jersey Genovese crime family soldier, worked under uh, Bobby Manna, uh, John DiGilio, and uh, came over from Italy as a young man in the 1950s, um, had operations going uh, uh, in New Jersey, parts of New York, parts of Florida, had a pretty long rap sheet Um his last bus was in the early 2000s down in Florida, in the Orlando area. Him and his father-in-law were uh, loaning out money and uh, bookmaking. And then they were also, this is very like something, storyline right out of the Sopranos. Uh, what, what the, he was selling, Rotolo was selling uh, black market direct TV packages and equipment. Um, and we had... Uh, a, a surveillance audio record, uh, audio tape made that eventually made it, uh, the recording made it into, into the court record in the 1990s, um, where Rotolo was heard uh, grabbing a debtor, uh, sticking his head into a toilet, uh, flushing the toilet, and threatening to kill him if he didn't pay the debt. Uh, in the 80s and early 90s, Rotolo made his headquarters at, at Sir John's Pub in Jersey City. Like I said, very close to conciliary Bobby Manna, as well as uh, Capo John DiGilio, who would be murdered uh, for uh, mounting his uh, own defense at a, a racketeering case where he defended himself, was his, was his own attorney, and, and the way he defended himself upset the powers that be. Uh, in the Genovese, he ended up dead. Uh, but Tony Matolo uh, lived into his 80s, um, passed away a couple weeks ago. Rest in peace to, to Mr. Matolo. Uh, we have a, a OG uh, button man from back from the 50s, uh, Fast Eddie Bonica, um, a Gambino from Brooklyn. Um, he passed away back in February, uh, got his butt in, in a ceremony in the I believe it was 1956 and um, you know, one of the uh, oldest ranking highest, most tenured uh, made men in, in America when he passed away back in the winter. And then just in the last couple of days, uh, a Lucchese associate, uh, a, a valued cog in the Lucchese crime kingdom for years, Gary Maduri, who was a right-hand man to conciliary, uh, Joey D, Joe DiNapoli. Uh, he passed away last week at 69. Natural causes peacefully uh, at his home in White Plains, New York. And uh, Maduri is another, another one of these guys that, uh, although he didn't have a button, he was at the side uh, and had the ear of, you know, the. The, the, the most powerful guys in the Lucchese's uh, in, in the 2010s, uh, Joey D, Maddie Madonna, and, and Stevie Crea. Um, he ran DiNapoli's gambling uh, operations, uh, helped Maddie Madonna with some of his gambling operations. He was known as a great handicapper, uh, great bookmaker, great guy. Everyone loved uh, Gary from, from what I understand. Um, a, a guy that was trusted like he was a made guy, even though uh, I don't believe he had his button. And uh, at one point, I think he actually lived with Joe DiNapoli. So that, that's interesting. Uh, went down in uh, Operation Heat with DiNapoli and Madonna uh, back in the 2000s, uh, which was a New Jersey state police bus. Uh, and then just to double back to uh, Eddie Bonica, uh, Fast Eddie, I believe he was a, a veteran 
and uh, served in the military in World War II on a, on a naval uh, naval barge in, in the South Pacific. So uh, they, don't, they don't make them like that anymore. Last of the Mohicans. So just wanted to uh, uh, send our regards out to those uh, five figure, uh, those those three guys in the five families that uh, had passed away either recently or earlier in 2003. Um, Tony Rotolo, uh, Gary Maduri, and Fast Eddie Bonico. Uh, Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. Mm -hmm.